Hello everyone, this is Valentina Galossi. I am an independent curator and the editor of the book Life of Artists in Berlin, an art guide that was published in 2018 and with a focus on 25th contemporary artists living and working in Berlin. Do you read art? is a series of interviews for EGTV. I ask visual artists to tell us more about art books and their influence on their own work of art. Today we talk with Anja Schwerer. Anja is a painter born in Karlsruhe and based in Berlin. Schwerer's art is inspired by the theme of memory. Remembrance is understood as a material that can take on the most bizarre and capricious connotations and forms. These forms are impressed on the fabric through the stages of dyeing, bleaching, knotting and untying. The bleaching process lies at the core of the work, partly due to the printing and photographic techniques that Schurz has mastered. In particular, Anya will introduce the art book America's kilts and coverlets together with the making of her timeless textile paintings untitled 2020. Hello everybody, my name is Anja Schwörer. I'm a visual artist living in Berlin. For my work, textiles were always a big inspiration to me. That's also why I wanted to present this book today. And as you can see behind me, these are my, my um, my works uh, I've done in the last um, month and uh, they also have this abstract um, form language which also uh, shows up in the, in the patchwork and also in this book uh, I'm using um, geometric patterns and shapes and build them together I, I put uh, little pieces of fabric together to make a big one. So this is all related in a way to the quilts, I think. And the book is called America's Quilts and Coverlets. So it's an older book. And the story about it is that I first came across that book when I was an art student uh, and I had an exchange um, semester in Stockholm and at that time I found that book in the library and, and then a few years later I was in New York and I found a copy of that book in a bookstore and I finally bought it. Um, the quilts were made um, also to celebrate uh, special life events like uh, like a wedding or like um, childbirth and they had also the purpose to keep you warm because they had several layers and I, I really liked um, how the quilts are done that way. They are so beautiful in the designs and, uh, and each of the each of the quilt is different and when you what was really fascinating to me that that they are made out of individual um, geometric elements I suppose it yeah look at this so I really I really like that one because you can see how how they work with the color contrast so that in a way it gets like a three dimension so and i yeah and i think this is like like the like a, they, the quilts are where the pioneers of, of art all the the quilts are to get are made out of little uh scraps of um textile because at that time uh, fabric was expensive and scarce, so um, they used uh, worn out um, clothes to um, to reuse it and make something new out of it. And I really like that idea. And so, yeah, that's for now. Thanks for watching. This is the book I have chosen. I think it was a great inspiration for me, and it is still so. Do you read art?